Hey everyone, it's Nick on a chilly autumn day in Michigan. I saw something online yesterday that I need to comment about. Essentially, it was a claim that Epstein-Barr virus is the sole cause of illnesses like chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia, and in fact that, that Epstein-Barr and those illnesses could be considered the same thing. So I have a huge issue with this viewpoint for a few reasons that I'd like to share. Uh, I get the desire to legitimize these illnesses because a large portion of the medical institution doesn't even believe that they exist. Uh, doctors might still say that somebody's making it up, which is absurd. Uh, but that same logic that says Epstein-Barr is chronic fatigue led to me being prescribed really toxic antiviral drugs in 2014, which instead of helping really made my condition about twice as bad as it already was. Uh, so along with this viewpoint, I saw more of a naturopathic uh, recommendation than to treat Epstein-Barr with foods and supplements, things like celery juice and papaya, uh, which I have an issue with as well because for most people that's not going to have any effect at all, and in fact it might just make them feel more hopeless than they already did with the illness. Uh, I, I've gone through all sorts of naturopathic and functional medicine and homeopathic approaches and none of those really made a sizable difference either. Uh, in late 2014, I visited the Mayo Clinic, a really respected uh, medical center in Minnesota, and I was surprised to find a really holistic viewpoint on CFS. They recommended making a variety of lifestyle changes that over a few years might have uh, that might lead to a drastic reduction of symptoms and greater functionality in life. So this is the viewpoint that that I am uh, feeling aligned with because of seeing that it's making the difference in in my process of recovery. It involves uh, some food things, some dietary changes, but then also stress management and communication skills like assertiveness and getting rid of perfectionism and learning forgiveness and doing things like yoga or tai chi or meditation, getting some social activity without bringing yourself out. Uh, so essentially it's a lot more complicated than some people who are selling you things would like you to believe. Anyone who tells you that one single thing or one single uh, helper is going to be the uh, thing that cures chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia is selling you a load of crap. So <laughs> that's my story for today. Please share this with anyone that you know who's living with a condition like this or or who has been hearing these kind of claims on the internet. Thanks for watching. Hasta luego. I just wanted to clarify one thing which is that after I went through all those toxic antiviral treatments and then visited the Mayo Clinic, they actually told me that there was no evidence that I even still had an active Epstein-Barr infection. And furthermore, 80 to 90% of all humans get Epstein-Barr at some point in their lives, and it stays forever in our system, yet most people won't even get as so much as a sore throat from it. So there's another thing to add to the pile of crap.